And now we're going to look at the lines, starting with the first line, which is the foundation line. So line one has to do with investigation and creation. This is one before there were two. Uh, so here, if we have the first and the 32, and this is the guardian archetype or the gardener, this is going to be the first line that has probably created the, the garden from, this, from scratch and has tried what are the flowers that I can plant and that are going to survive with this climate, with this soil. It was going to know exactly what works and what doesn't work. And it probably is not going to allow anybody to come in and work in the garden if it doesn't know that it's a win-win, if it doesn't know that it's going to work. It's not really going to take risks. And that become, can become a lot of responsibility for on this first line to have to do anything itself because it doesn't really trust that win-win. So very important for the first line to actually be able to see that relationships are worth it. Um, and in the low frequency can be a bit of a loner, loner, not really have anybody to share its heart with and its passion with, which is this beautiful garden. And if we continue to the second line, well, here it feels like the garden is a creation of, of two people and the love that they have for each other and how they mirror each other is going to be also mirrored in the garden, how they love each other, how they flow together. And here it's probably... Um, I would say it's a garden that is more wild. The creation of those two is, is more wild. It's less kind of, the first line is really about, does it work? Does it not work? Is it safe? But the second line is more about the flow of the garden and the energy of the garden. Here we have the sacral chakra. So it comes from that spontaneity of, of, of the garden. And in a low frequency, well, this could be when, when the couple isn't together anymore. Well, then maybe the garden dies because they, it was really like a child of their love for each other. So for the second line, and then it's absolutely the other person's fault that the, that the garden died. So in the low frequency, the second line has to do with that projection and aggression on, on the other instead of taking own responsibility and maybe making the gar two lots of the garden in each one <laughs> is taking care of one of them. And the third line is about experimentation. So here I believe it's a garden that's gonna have plants and, and herbs and flowers and trees from all kinds of different parts of the world. And it's like every new flower plant is a new interaction, is a new, it's a new dynamic. And that's what the third line loves. It loves to experiment. It loves to have new experiences. It loves sometimes to maybe bring an exotic tree to a place where it can't grow. Well, that's also a learning experience. So important for the third line to not make itself wrong because something doesn't grow or something dies in the winter. It was still worth it. There's still something to learn from it. And of course, if you if you plant a cactus outside in Sweden, it's probably not going to make the winter. So there's also something like a humor about it to not take perceived mistakes so seriously. And it's a little bit different today how we're doing this because we're using the, the gardener archetype. So for the fourth line, I, I think the garden would be a reason for other people to come there. So it's the same thing in, in human design. We speak about the house and how the fourth line is on the balcony, on, on the second floor and people come. Well, the garden that is made with so much love, with like the breath of life, uh, we, have, we have heart and breath as embodied principle here. Uh, it's, it's going to draw people there. And the beauty of the garden is probably going to flood people's emotions. The fourth line and the third line are, are emotional. That's where we can have that kind of shame of failure in the third line. And in the fourth line, we have that open heartedness. And of course, if nobody comes to the garden or if the fourth line is making a beautiful garden, but it doesn't have an open heart, well, that would be the, the shadow frequency uh, of the fourth line. And then the fifth line, I would say as often is the most powerful because it has that practical application so it's a gardener that knows exactly in practicality how to make that garden be amazing and there's a sensuality in the fifth line too so it's going to be a garden that is so sensual so that people kind of get lured into it into the entrapped we could say if it's more the lower frequency the fifth line knows how to do that 
And people are probably going to predict on, on the fifth line that it's the best gardener ever. But if it fails, quote unquote, then it's also going to have that protect, projection on it. Um, so it's a lot to live up till, to for the fifth line. And once there, there is a conflict or a misunderstanding, well, then it's often not easy to go back. Uh, it's often kind of stays there and it takes like a lot of forgiveness and and vulnerability for it to be to be resolved and then we have the sixth line of the 32 so here it's already overlooking to the next gate and the fifth is gene key is that gate or gene key that is halfway through the wheel in the process of deconditioning so it's about equilibrium and harmony so i feel like this is like the last leap we usually say that the sixth line is beyond the, this whole process and it's all already overlooking the other one well i think that there is a very important leap here because it's leaping into that point of equilibrium where actually in a way the garden is just an excuse to be able to to do your life's work um and you are ready for the bigger picture you are ready to be that bridge between between hexagrams, like back to the first line again. And the 50 has to do with harmony and corruption, we said. So here is, I think that the 32 builds a garden, builds a world, nurtures earth in a way that is sustainable and not corrupt. It thinks, it, it has the reverence of the past and it brings, it, it brings all its effort and all its intelligence to build this beautiful earth, this beautiful garden, so that we can live more in harmony between individuals as individuals and as collective. 